My name is Grace Casey Gouin, and I am a knitwear designer, product developer, and the creative director at Zolly. I live and work in Southern Rhode Island with my family. I studied archaeology in college as a way to understand the roots of the human experience better, but it was when I was visiting Germany to study knitting that I was able to visit the prehistory collection at the Ancient Cultures Museum in Tübingen. This museum has a series of artifacts carved from mammoth ivory that depict animals that people would have been encountering there during the Ice Age when they were made 40,000 years ago. These artifacts were found in a cave where it is supposed that people would have spent most of their time. And I couldn't help but think that if I had been living in a cave during the Ice Age, I would want to be crafting too. Seeing these beautiful artifacts really helped me understand in such a profound and deep way how deep the connection and drive to make things is intrinsic to the human experience. When I began to learn about natural fibers and the difference between natural fibers and synthetic fibers, like where they come from, how they're grown and their impact on the world, my own work began to significantly evolve because I could make things with more intention and purpose by making things that worked well with the natural properties of the fibers themselves. How we use something and how often and long we use it is influenced by how well the materials we are using is paired with the design. Different natural fibers have unique properties and behaviors, and their importance goes deeper than their function or drape, but gets down into how they function within the environment from the time that they're grown, how they get processed from raw fiber into yarn or fabric, and how they biodegrade when we are finished using them. This entire life cycle of the material has to be thought through in the design process rather than only thinking about the materials from the moment that they enter your studio or your hands, that's only one snapshot of the overall picture of a product's life. I was lucky to be taught fiber arts like needlepoint, knitting, and sewing by my mom and grandmother. Some of my earliest and fondest memories are in my grandmother's sewing room. Sitting on her lap as she sewed seams, I would get to remove the pins as they got close to the presser foot. They taught me that almost anything could be handmade at home and showed me the ritual of project making. Planning your project, gathering your materials, cutting out patterns, pinning the patterns to the fabric, sewing the pieces together, and finishing your work. They both made projects slowly and with great care, and they always let me help or help me make something of my own working alongside of them. I really like to think about how a lot of the work that goes into the things that I make is somewhat invisible to somebody who was only looking at the finished result because I like to learn about what I'm making from the raw fiber forward. So even parts of my work that maybe are unseen, like batting um, or a stuffing or a liner or something like that, or even the thread that you're using, I like to think about those things all the way through. And I don't mind if work goes into something that you're not even going to see or really appreciate from the end result because I know that it's in there and I feel like the work has integrity when it's thought all the way through. This stems from my own explorations and research into environmentally preferred materials and design practices and the impact of the things we use on the world around us. When I feel like the need for something arises in my life, like I need this or that or the other thing in my daily life, I really attempt to find a version of it that is being made in a holistic and thoughtful way by somebody else. And if I can't find it, that's when I feel the most inspired and excited to make something myself. My hope for people who are interacting with my patterns and the products that I've created in the past is that they're using them often and that they're enjoying their simplicity and utility in their everyday lives. I hope that these people mend them and use them over and over again until they are so worn out with love and use that they are ready to pass back to the earth. I hope that my work inspires and empowers people to make things for themselves.